Desmoid tumor is very, very important. Desmoid tumor is the most common primary malignant neoplasma of mesentery. This is most common primary malignant neoplasma of mesentery. What is the distribution? It is extra abdominal in 60% cases, arising from abdominal wall in 25% cases, and it is intra abdominal in 15% cases. So, see the distribution. It is most commonly extra abdominal. Desmoid tumors, mostly these are extra abdominal. In what percentage? In 60% cases. It is arising from abdominal wall in 25% cases. So, arising from abdominal wall in what percentage? 25, 25% cases and it is intra-abdominal in 15% cases. You have to remember this percentage. So, this is intra-abdominal in 15% cases. In this chapter, we are mainly discussing what? Abdominal wall desmoid. So, we are going to discuss what? We are going to discuss this abdominal wall desmoid. So, this abdominal wall desmoid, it arises from musculo-aponeurotic structure and what is the most common location in this image you can see? It is infra-umbilical. So, abdominal wall desmoid, it arises from musculo-aponeurotic structure, musculo-aponeurotic structures, clear? And you can see the location in the image. What is the most common location? Clear? Usually, it is infra-umbilical. The location is infra umbilical. Clear? This tumor is unencapsulated. So, whenever the tumor is being cut, it is going to crack. The tumor is unencapsulated. Unencapsulated. Clear? Now, see the risk factors. One of the most important risk factors is what? Previous surgery or history of trauma. So, surgical incision or trauma, it's a risk factor. So, in this image, you can see this patient underwent a surgery and after surgical procedure you can see this patient is having this abdominal wall desmoid and you can see what is the presentation the presentation is mass so in abdominal wall desmoid the most common presentation it is mass what are the other risk factors estrogen increases the risk if estrogen is going to increase the risk of desmoid it means it is more common in males or females females third it is associated with fap one special variant and what's the name gardner syndrome so what are the risk factors for abdominal wall desmoid or in general desmoid tumors what are the risk factors risk factors for desmoid tumors first history of surgical incision surgical incision or trauma any kind of surgical trauma clear since estrogen is going to increase the risk, estrogen increases the risk and that's why it is more common in females, more common in females and one variant of FAP, which variant of FAP is going to increase the risk? Familial adenomatous polyposis, which variant is the Gardner syndrome? This is Gardner's syndrome. Clear? These are the risk factors. You told me just now that it arises from musculo-oponeurotic structures. Means this tumor is arising from soft tissues. It means this tumor behaves like soft tissue sarcoma. But there are certain differences. What? That in desmoid tumor, there is no sarcomatous change, no distant metastasis. So what is seen here? This tumor is going to infiltrate the muscle in surrounding region. And since it infiltrates the muscle in surrounding region, during surgery, if you are not going to take wide margin, what will happen? There is increased risk of local recurrence. So what are the characteristic features? Characteristic features of this tumor? Characteristic features of desmoid tumors, clear, especially abdominal wall desmoid, what? No sarcomatous change. So, in these patients, there is no sarcomatous change, clear? There is no distant metastasis, no distant metastasis. But we discussed that what happens in this tumor, there is infiltration of muscle in surrounding region. So, what happens? There is increased risk of local recurrence. Increased risk of local recurrence and especially when, when wide margin is not taken around the tumor during excision. Clear? The question which was asked previously in exam, this was the question that what is the most common presentation of desmoid? And you can see in this image, what is the most common presentation? Yes, it's a mass. So, here the most common presentation, it's mass or lump. 
there is mass or lump in the abdominal wall so these patients are having mass or lump mass or lump rest of the management is very similar to soft tissue sarcoma see what is the investigation of choice for diagnosis we go for biopsy what is the investigation of choice to assess the extent of disease or assess the extent of abdominal wall desmoid we go for mri treatment obviously we go for wide local excision how much margin is sufficient usually 2 cm but suppose patient is having a recurrent desmoid in that case after surgery radiotherapy is also given so how we investigate here see the diagnosis diagnosis first question what is the investigation of choice for diagnosis investigation of choice for diagnosis it is biopsy and investigation of choice to assess the extent of disease here investigation of choice to assess to assess the extent of disease so obviously in soft tissue sarcomas to assess the extent which investigation is done mri and if patient is having retroperitoneal sarcoma for retroperitoneal sarcoma we go for cct now see the treatment treatment is easy so how we are going to treat it it's easy so treatment we go for wide local excision with 2 cm margin so it is wide local excision with 2 cm margin that's the treatment and sometimes this question is asked in exam recurrent desmoid what is the treatment of choice if this term is mentioned recurrent so if recurrent desmoid is there in a recurrent desmoid apart from surgery to prevent the further recurrence we give radiotherapy so for recurrent desmoid the treatment is surgery plus radiotherapy. 